Aaron, this afternoon, a local task force gave city and county leaders some recommendations on who could move into the building. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney is live downtown with the very latest. You know, this process may sometimes seem like a game of musical chairs, who goes where into what building, but really city and county officials are inching closer and closer to a decision and a final seating arrangement. City and county leaders have narrowed down the options on how to best use the Renaissance Square building. One idea is to move city police and all other city offices into Renaissance Square. In this option, the county loses a tenant in the city county building and more than two and a half million dollars over 20 years. Another option is to move both city and county public safety offices into Renaissance Square. The combined city-county cost is around $2 million. The third option is to move both public safety offices into the city-county building. This one has a combined city-county cost of $1.5 million. I think what we're going to need to do is, is balance those proposals. Allen County Commissioner Nelson Peters is leaning towards co-locating city police and the sheriff's department. I'm a guy that looks at the at the bottom line first and, and so I kind of like the one that's uh, the least expensive. Mayor Tom Henry hasn't settled on just one option yet but believes a decision isn't too far off. Whether we're in the same building or a block apart doesn't make any difference. We're still going to work together on getting the job done. Now, there really isn't a deadline on this decision, but city and county officials hope to come to some sort of an agreement by the end of October. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Aisha Husney, News Channel 15.